Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Um, today is Monday. Saturday we hauled another load on the trailer. We didn't record this, did we, Chris? I don't, I don't that think so. Time. We were hurting. Yeah. <laughs> we were hurting bad from that, right? Yeah. This took two hours to load these on because they were giving us trouble and we had to go through a ditch it wouldn't have been a problem if it was on flat ground, but we had to roll through a ditch to get to the trailer. Yeah. What a nightmare. So we um, got these big slabs on. These are really nice sized. I like the, the green in that one. I love that green in that. So these are really nice big logs. Heavy. They're pretty much rolling them up. We used the winch. And we rolled them up on two 4x4s. Again, we couldn't record because of where we were. We rolled them up the trailer on two 4x4s, and it worked. But it was just a struggle out of that ditch. But we got that, and then we, we quit for the day. That was, that was exhausting. And then we have, you should notice, a much bigger pile. We went and got another truckload today of longer uncut logs. And we added to the pile Saturday. We, uh, we filled the truck and trailer on Saturday. So we've got a very big growing pile of firewood to process here. Very, very big. Still got more to get. <laughs> it's not all. This is all from one tree. We still have more to get. <laughs> That's a lot. From one tree. From one tree. And then we got what? Three more? We got, uh, we got uh, three, three smaller trees to yeah. get. Yep. From the same job site. My tractor nice and smooth what's that oh it's nice that's heavy hey guys getting dark I'm gonna put the tractor away we walked and drove all over this property today something I did not show you I laid out well Chris measured and I laid out all the fence posts we haven't got back to that project yet because we're still hauling from that one tree. That is a job. That is an unbelievable job, that one tree. We're still hauling it in. So, there's that. Now, let me pause the camera. I'll walk you over and show you something we brought home today. 
actually just look at the tracks in this yard from today this is all today tractor tire tracks truck prints trailer prints we've been all over this place today crazy when you when you come out here and see the amount of tracks at the end of a day and how much we did here it's a lot we were working um the only thing we weren't we weren't on the homestead much we were wheeling and dealing so i'll take you over here and show you what we got this is going to be a handy little tool some of you will know what that is at first glance some of you may not it's homemade by an old timer there's a pulley up here and uh arch uh, he calls it the arch that's what he always called it the arch and this is a convenient little tool for that goes behind a truck or a tractor and I'm go, I've got a winch that goes on this and we can pick up logs he actually said you can haul entire whole trees out multiple trees entire trees at one time by hooking up the a cable and your towing tongs and running your winch you can lift the one end of the tree right up off the ground and drag it on out of the forest or trees he said he did it with multiple trees all the time and you just uh, loop around them lift up one end and drag the whole thing right out of the forest so Chris and I brought this home today and we plan on putting uh, stabilizing it a little bit more it's old um, it was from a 1960 Dodge truck he said and he made this himself he bent the frame of the truck in and made an a-frame out of it and put a, a pipe tongue on it and an axle also an antique axle good tires though they're they're holding air and yeah there it is so that's gonna haul our trees for us a lot better around here on the homestead hey everybody got a box in the mail Michelle you can see her right on the edge of the camera all excited to see what's in it my little assistant <laughs> yeah you're so funny yeah you're funny you're funny too <laughs> oh there's a lot of tape all right, well, this is going to take some serious amounts of untaping. <laughs> what did you get into? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> wow. Here we go. All right, we got it. We got it. Oh, wow, this is full of something. What is this? Ah! Alright, help, yeah, help me pull all this stuff away. Help me pull all this stuff away. We've got all kinds of stuff in there. Here, put that one over. Alright, wait a minute. Let's see, what are these? There's a whole box of things. What are these? Oh, those are fuel filters. Wow! Wow, look at that. There's a whole box. There's three. There's four. There's five. Six, seven, eight fuel filters with clamps. Awesome. You have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I actually um, service people's equipment now and then. And so that is great to have. So here are some metal poles. You can hold that. Okay. And here is a... A metal detector there's a piece you can take that and hold it make sure there's nothing else in the box okay you put the box behind you put that off the side we're done with that we have here a metal detector sent by a YouTube viewer who uh, saw the need that I had for a metal detector said I've got one extra laying around would you like it and I said well absolutely that is for our uh, that's, this, Michelle, is when we're looking at the logs out here in the yard. Yeah. 
we can see if there's metal in it. In my face. That holds it together. Okay? We have to look at it and see how it goes together. Yes. Okay? This here. This here. Yeah, those go together in here. And this tells you if there's metal in your wood. Yes. What do you think of that? I think you know that goes together, don't you? She's getting really smart. For three years old, she's already trying to figure out how to put them together. Well, guys, um, this is going to be very, very useful. I'm going to get it together here, and we'll be using it out here very soon. I have something else on the way, which I think everybody will be very, very pleased to see. But I won't mention names or anything, but you know who you are, and I want to say thank you very much. I can't wait to get this out there and start experimenting. I think I got some batteries for that somewhere. We'll dig them out tomorrow and have a look at it. And yes, thank you, Michelle, for the post. Well, thank you very much. We'll be using that out here. And that. Yes, thank you, Michelle. Well, what do you think? Metal detector. Can you say that? Nope, now she's going to get quiet. All right, guys, that's it for the day. It got dark and it get cold out there. We'll put this together and uh, try it out late tomorrow. That's a screw. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Talk to you later. Say it again. Bye, Michelle. I think you missed it. She was waving bye. There you go.